hi this is halal in this video on mathematical economics series we will try to solve a problem that was asked by a sister jyoti meena uh, regarding the production function that was probably asked in indian economic service paper of 2021 the question is like this uh, given uh, the production and cost function is here we are being given the production function and cost function production function is uh, typically the cobb douglas production function that is q is equal to 500 l to the power one, uh, one upon four into k to the power three upon four where l and k are the labor and capital also cost is given as a w l plus r k where w is the wage rate l is the number of labors uh, employed r is the rental rate of capital and k is the uh, units of capital employed okay we are being told to derive the demand curve for labor and capital with a view to maximize the output when the cost is given as thousand dollars okay we need to find the demand function uh, actually for l and k and our objective is to maximize the output okay uh, with the given cost that is uh, cost is a thousand dollars sorry ten thousand dollars the question also tells us uh, would your answer change if objective shifts uh, to cost minimization with desired level of output the question uh, tells us uh, what will happen uh, with our answer if we uh, change our strategy from output maximization to cost minimization whether uh, the answer will remain same or not okay and uh, b part is uh, determine the equilibrium uh, level of employment of the factors in each case given a uh, wage rate is uh, ten dollars and rental rate of capital is 75 dollars okay let's uh, try to uh, figure this out how to solve this very question okay so we have two things here what is uh, if we have any firm okay any producer uh, any producer has two choices if uh, a producer wants to maximize profit okay what he can do either he can either he can uh, maximize maximize output okay he will uh, try to maximize uh, output uh, with given cost okay with given given cost okay or he can minimize uh, minimize cost uh, with given uh, level of output he wants to uh, with given output he wants to uh, produce okay so any uh, producer uh, to use the optimal i will write uh, here uh, any producer if he wants to use optimal uh, optimal inputs um, by inputs we mean labor and capital uh, optimal in, uh, inputs can be employed either maximizing the output with given cost or minimizing the cost with given output so uh, we are being told in the first part of the question to maximize our output when the cost is given okay so we have to maximize our production function uh, with given cost this is the part first let me write it here and how do we uh, uh, write this I will show it graphically uh, but first uh, let me write the question the first part of the question is about we have to maximize we have to maximize our output that is we want to maximize a uh, q is equal to uh, 500 I will write like this q such that 500 l to the power 1 upon 4 k to the power 3 upon 4 okay we want to maximize this output uh, given the constraint our constraint is that uh, c should be equal to wl plus or k and we know the value of c c is ten thousand dollars okay so i will write here ten thousand also in place of c that means that the first part of question tells us to maximize output uh, subject to the given cost and how do we uh, maximize uh, a um, objective function with the uh, cost constraint 
first step uh, in maximizing is first we write this cost function uh, this uh, uh, constraint like this we write uh, so i will write here in place of c i will write 10000 okay so first step is we just uh, solve this constraint how do we solve it this we just uh, take all the terms on RHS to LHS okay so we have 10,000 minus WL uh, minus RK okay first step is to solve uh, the constraint so first we set all the terms on LHS and set it equal to zero okay after that we multiply it by lambda I have told you uh, in many videos how do we uh, use the languages function basically we are using uh, the languages function here we have to form the languages function for that first step is first step is set uh, cost constraint equal to zero multiplied by lambda and after that form the languages function l is equal to we write this objective function that is 500 l to the power 1 upon 4 k to the power 3 upon 4 okay so we write this objective function and to this we add this resulting constraint function that is lambda uh, 10,000 minus WL minus RK. Okay, this is our Lagrange's function. And first order condition for profit maximization requires, so I will write here, first order condition for profit maximization requires that we take the partial derivatives of this Lagrange's function with respect to uh, with respect to l k and lambda and set them equal to zero simultaneously okay that means we first partially differentiate this Lagrange's function with respect to l that means dl uh, so let us write it as u uh, to differentiate it from this variable okay let us say Lagrange's function is being denoted by u that means uh, du upon dl okay is equal to that means we will partially differentiate this with respect to l so this 1 upon um, 4 will become coefficient so we have 1 upon 4 uh, into 500 l to the power 1 upon 4 minus 1 by power function rule it will become minus uh, 3 upon 4 and we have k to the power 3 upon 4 okay since we are partially differentiating with respect to l okay what will be the derivative of l here it is 1 so we are left with minus w into lambda so this will become minus uh, w lambda derivative of constant is 0 and derivative of loss term is also 0 because we are differentiating with respect to l so it will be assumed to be constant and we set it equal to 0 okay this is uh, how do we partially differentiate with respect to l okay similarly uh, du upon dk okay is equal to we need to partially differentiate uh, this Lagrange's function with respect to k this time so this uh, 3 upon 4 will become coefficient so i will write here 3 upon 4 into 500 okay this uh, term will remain same because we are partially differentiating with respect to uh, k so this is 1 upon 4 and we have k now uh, what is the derivative of k to the power 3 upon 4 its derivative is this 3 upon 4 becomes coefficient we have k and this is subtracted by 1 by power function rule 3 upon 4 minus 1 okay i'm just trying to see show you how do we do this so this is 3 upon 4 k to the power now this is 3 minus 4 uh, this comes out to be minus 1 upon 4 okay so we get here we get here a 3 upon 4 minus 1 comes out to be uh, minus 1 upon 4 okay and what is the derivative of k here since uh, this is constant we cannot differentiate with respect to k in this term because no k is involved so derivative will be 0 here also here also and derivative of k is 1 so we are left with minus r and minus r into lambda is minus or lambda and we set it equal to zero okay similarly last step is to differentiate with respect to lambda du upon d lambda 
is equal to now since in this term no lambda is involved so derivative will be obviously zero and the derivative of lambda is one so we are left with 10,000 minus WL minus RK and we set it equal to zero okay now we have three equations and three unknowns we need to solve for L and K for that what will what will we do if we just uh, are to save the space uh, if I can write it like this so let this be equation first uh, this be equation second this is uh, equation third okay are uh, to solve for the optimal values of L K and lambda we first divide equation first by equation second okay so we have here 1 upon 4 uh, into 500 k to the power minus 3 upon 4 sorry we have first l to the power minus 3 upon 4 let me rub this out here okay we have l to the power minus 3 upon 4 k to the power uh, 3 upon 4 okay uh, divide by uh, 3 upon 4 into 500 we have l to the power 1 upon 4 k to the power minus 1 upon 4 okay uh, to save the space if i just transpose these terms on rhs so this will become uh, w lambda upon or lambda okay and lambda lambda will get cancelled i hope i make myself clear here i have just uh, uh, skipped uh, one step i have just plugged or transposed this minus w lambda on rhs so if we divide equation first by second we divide lhs by lhs and rhs by rhs here okay w and r will get lambda and lambda will uh, will get cancelled so here we have this 500 this 500 will also get cancelled okay so what we are left here so we have 1 upon 4 okay if we transpose this 3 upon 4 to numerator it will get reciprocated it will become 4 upon 3 okay now we have l to the power 1 upon 4 in denominator okay let me write we have l to the power 1 upon 4 in numerator we have l to the power minus 3 upon 4 so i will write it like this l to the power minus 3 upon 4 is numerator l to the power 1 upon 4 is in denominator i can write it like this if i transpose this numerator to denominator it will become like this 1 upon l to the power 1 upon 4 if we transpose numerator to the denominator uh, okay the exponent sign gets changed so we have l the sign of this exponent uh, sorry uh, the sign of the exponent will get changed if it is minus 3 upon 4 it will become plus 3 upon 4 okay and it will become 1 upon now since bases are same we can add upon exponent so this becomes l uh, 1 upon 4 plus 3 upon 4 okay so this comes out to be 1 upon 3 plus 1 is 4 uh, so i will write here this becomes 4 upon 4 and this is simply 1 upon l okay so i can just transpose this l to the power minus 3 upon 4 to a denominator so this these two terms will become 1 upon l so i will write here l okay similarly we have k k to the uh, power 3 upon 4 here we have k to the power 1 upon 4 minus 1 upon 4 okay now here what will we do we will just transpose this uh, numerate uh, denominator to numerator what will happen same process we have in numerator k to the power 3 upon 4 if we transpose this to the numerator the exponent sign will get changed okay so we have here k since it is minus 1 upon 4 here so it will become plus 1 upon 4 okay and since bases are again same we can add the exponent so this will become k to the power 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 this comes out to be 3 plus 1 is uh, 4 upon 4 and we are left with k so these two terms will give me k okay is equal to w upon r 
okay let me rub this out now here 4 and 4 will get cancelled now what we are being left with we have k upon 3l that is k upon 3l is equal to w upon r okay or i can write here i can write k is equal to if i transpose uh, this 3l it will get multiplied here so we have 3l into w upon r this is the value of k now we need to plug this k is equal to 3l w upon r in third equation okay in this equation okay let us plug this value in this third equation so we have 10,000 minus W L uh, minus in place of if I just transpose this uh, first uh, let me make it suitable uh, for calculation I can write this uh, this equation this equation can be written as 1000 is equal to if I transpose these terms it will become W L plus rk okay so just transposing this value in this equation okay so we have 10,000 is equal to wl plus r the value of k is we have the value of k is 3 l w upon r this r and a r will get cancelled wl plus 3 wl becomes 4 wl so we have 4 wl is equal to 10,000 okay or l is equal to 10,000 upon 4 w or it comes out to be 25 hundred upon w okay so we got the demand function for l that is l is equal to 25 uh, 2500 or if I write it like this as it is so let me write it uh, as it is so here we can see this is the demand for labor and demand for labor is the function of wage rate okay now similarly uh, if we solve this this will come out to be l is equal to 2500 upon w okay and here we can see uh, that is labor is a function of wage rate okay now we again need to plug this l is equal to this very thing uh, in this equation okay to get the value of k so plugging this value l is equal to this so we have 10,000 so actually it is 10,000 here 10,000 is equal to W in place of L we have this uh, 2500 upon W plus RK okay and WW gets cancelled 1000 we have 10,000 minus 2500 is equal to RK or this is 10,000 minus 2,500 comes out to be 7,500 is equal to RK or K is equal to 7,500 upon R, okay? So this is the demand for labor. This is the demand for capital. Labor is a function of wage rate. Capital is a function of rental rate of capital, okay? This is... Uh, this is about uh, this uh, question that is derived the demand curve for labor and capital with view to maximize the output when cost is ten thousand dollars okay now <clears throat> this uh, is called the output maximization okay as i told you uh, there are two options for any firm to employ its optimal inputs or to maximize its profits there are two uh, two options either he can maximize either he can maximize uh, let me write it here I, either he can maximize output 
uh, subject to subject to the cost okay what does this mean graphically it simply means if we have let us say we have now units of l here units of capital here okay in this case what we want to we want to maximize our output graphically what uh, what does this mean we are it means that we are being given the cost function what we call the iso cost function okay this is our iso cost function okay our endeavor is to reach to the highest iso content okay if this is iso count first our uh, endeavor will be to reach to the highest possible iso count okay for optimization okay so uh, for maximizing output subject to the cost that means we are being given the cost function and our endeavor is to reach to the highest iso count okay and by iso count you mean or iso count is a curve on which we have different combinations of labor and capital that give us same amount of output okay so this maximizing output subject to the cost means we are being given the cost function okay uh, we want to maximize our output how can we maximize our output we can only maximize our output if we reach to the highest iso count in such a way that the slope of the uh, iso count and the slope of the cost line is same okay and it happens only at a point where the uh, iso count is tangent to the iso cost line so this will be the optimal point and we have done this very thing earlier here okay for that we got l is equal to this we got the demand for labor and demand for capital here okay so this is one method of uh, optimizing another method that can uh, that a producer can imply is that he will try to minimize its cost okay so he will try to minimize his expenditure given his such that we are being given his output okay in this case what will be the graph simple in this case we are being given the iso count we want to produce on this iso count okay in this case what we want we want to minimize our cost okay so if it is our iso cost line we want to shift it uh, this iso cost line in such a way that we reach a point where uh, our iso cost line is tangent to the given to the given uh, iso count okay so we want to reach to this point okay so there are two techniques i will repeat here either the producer can maximize his output that means he will try to reach highest possible iso count okay given his iso cost line or he can minimize his cost or expenditure okay uh, given his output that means we are being given uh, a production quota and we want to achieve this production quota in such a way that we uh, want to minimize our cost that can be only possible if we shift leftwards in such a way that uh, slope of the iso count and the slope of the iso cost line is same okay and by slope of iso count we mean marginal rate of technical substitution should be equal to uh, what you call the ratio of prices that is based rate upon rate of capital okay that means uh, this is the slope of this iso count and this is the slope of this line okay i have shown you how can we use output maximization and this is called the output maximization okay output maximization and this is called cost minimization okay cost minimization okay and both will give us the same result okay 
so here uh, the optimal what will be the optimal level of labor optimal uh, level of capital or here what will be the optimal level of labor or capital it will be same okay so let's try to use the cost uh, that is cost minimization uh, problem also here in this case to make it more uh, suitable for you people whatever we have done here we have actually used the output output maximization okay that was the first part and let us see what will happen in the cost minimization process okay for that i will rub this out okay i am very sorry if this video goes uh, lengthy but my endeavor is um, that you should get uh, as knowledge as possible okay now another method could be uh, that we want to minimize okay if we were here trying to maximize our um, production output with the given cost here our endeavor will be to minimize cost okay what is we want to minimize uh, c that is what is given as c is wl plus rk we want to minimize this okay subject to the um, production isocon that is we have a q sorry subject to the output uh, that is the production function that is q is equal to 500 l to the power 1 upon 4 k to the power 3 upon 4 okay now we have to form the leverages function again in this question okay how do we form first we set this constraint equal to zero if we set it equal to zero this will become q minus 500 uh, l to the power 1 upon 4 k to the power 3 upon 4 okay and set it equal to zero after that we'll multiply it by lambda and after that we form the leverages function okay let us see this is v uh, u okay let me write it v here okay uh, okay uh, let me write it u again here so u will be how do we form leverages function we write the objective function our objective function will be here this uh, wl uh, plus rk okay and to this objective function we uh, add up this resulting um, uh, resulting constraint function which we form by setting cost uh, this constraint equal to zero and multiplying it by lambda so we have lambda times q minus 500 l to the power 1 upon 4 k to the power 3 upon 4 okay now first order condition for profit maximization requires so i am just using the same method here that uh, we just need to take the partial derivative of uh, this leverages function with respect to l k and lambda and set them equal to zero simultaneously okay so i will use other notation to save the space here so u subscript uh, l minus uh, differentiating partially this function with respect to l so derivative of l is labor l is here one so we are left with w okay now what will be the derivative of this function here one upon four will become coefficient so uh, obviously lambda is multiplied and we have negative sign so i will write, write here uh, sorry uh, this one upon four okay derivative of q will be obviously zero because we are differentiating with respect to l okay so one upon four <coughs> uh into 500 okay l to the power now one upon four minus one is minus three upon four okay and we have k to the power three upon four and we have also this lambda here and set it equal to zero similarly you to the power k will be differentiating with respect to k since no k is involved in the first term so derivative will be zero in this term we have k the derivative of k is one so we are left with r uh, here we have uh, minus three upon four will become coefficient we have 500 then okay uh, this k by power function rule we subtract exponent by one so three upon four minus one comes out to be uh, minus one upon four okay and we have this uh, uh, l one to the power l to the uh, sorry l raised power one upon four lambda is equal to zero okay and another 
uh, is u subscript lambda means partially differentiating this with respect to lambda that means uh, the derivative of lambda will be zero so we are left with uh, q is sorry q minus 500 l to the power 1 upon 4 k to the power uh, 3 upon 4 and set it equal to zero okay let this be equation first let this be equation second let this be equation third okay so dividing equations first by equation second so to save the space uh, can i uh, definitely uh, save here space i don't think so let me try here so if i just uh, rearrange it here so i can write it like this if i transpose the this so we have w upon l here w upon l is equal to now here i have to do the calculation this we have here 1 upon 4 so we have 1 upon 4 if i transpose this will become 4 upon 3 which we have done earlier somewhere here okay and this 500 500 will get cancelled okay uh, if we transpose this k to the power 3 upon 4 sorry if we transpose this negative to uh, positive as i have done here same process is here so this will become if we transpose here so this will become k to the power 3 upon 4 into k to the power 1 upon 4 so this will become k okay so we are left with k upon similarly if we transpose this to the denominator this minus 3 upon 4 this power uh, transposing to denominator so exponents will add up to 1 so we will we will be left with l okay so this 4 and 4 will get cancelled we are back with the same production that is same condition that is w upon l r uh, w upon r is equal to i am very sorry if you got confused it is same uh, thing which we have done it in the output maximization okay so we are left with uh, k upon 3l okay or we can write k is equal to 3l w upon r okay now what we need to do we need to let me rub this out okay to show the space here let me rub this out now we got k is equal to 3l w upon r we just need to plug this uh, value in equation third okay equation third can be uh, trans uh, formula uh, if i can write it like this q is equal to 500 uh, l to the power 1 upon 4 k to the power 3 upon 4 okay now we just need to plug the value of k so we have uh, 500 l to the power 1 upon 4 the value of k is uh, this thing that is uh, 3 l w upon r raised power 3 upon 4 okay and we need to solve it for l or uh, we can write it like this 500 now l to the power 1 upon 4 if we take this l to the power 3 upon 4 like this 3 upon 4 we are left with a 3 w upon r raised power 3 upon 4 okay now this q is equal to this thing or q is equal to so this will add up to the 1 okay so we have 500 l into 3 w upon r raised power 3 upon 4 or we will get here l is equal to if we transpose these terms here we will get q upon 500 okay uh, 3 w plus r okay raised power 3 upon 4 now what is the difference between finding uh, the input demand functions uh, with output maximization and input demand functions with cost minimization we can see uh, in the output maximization problem uh, labor was the function of wage rate only 
but in case of cost minimization a uh, labor is a function of wage rate and rental rate of capital and also of the output okay so this is the difference between cost minimization and output maximization if we want to find the demand curves so in case of output maximization uh, input uh, that is labor will be the function of wage rate only but in case of cost minimization uh, labor will be the function of wage rate rental rate of capital and output okay and similarly we can uh, find the demand for capital which will come out to be i have calculated because there is no space left so k will come out to be q upon 500 uh, 3w upon r raised power 1 upon 4 so this is the demand for capital okay so we got both the things the question was uh, uh, asking us would your answer change if the objective shifts to cost minimization with the desired level of output although our answer will change okay but the optimal results will be same our demand function in case of output maximization uh, labor was the function of wage rate capital was the function of rental rate of capital but in case of cost minimization labor uh, labor is a function of wage rate rental rate of capital and output and similarly capital is a function of all these things okay so this is the basic definition and uh, basic difference but uh, we need to determine the equilibrium level of employment the second part tells us of the factors in each case okay in each case what will be the equilibrium level of employment we just need to plug w is equal to 10 or is equal to 75 okay in our demand function so we have demand function here input demand function l is equal to 10,000 or we have calculated here this is 2500 upon uh, 2500 upon uh, what is the value of w w is given as 10 so this will come out to be 250 so optimal level of labor that we need is 250 and similarly uh, for capital we are being given k is equal to k is equal to 7500 7500 upon what is the value of r that is 75 so 75 ones are so we are left with 100 so that means optimal level of capital will be 100 okay so we got the equilibrium level of employment of factors of labor and capital as 250 and 100 in each case so if it is telling us to find in this case in this case we will also get these very values for that what we need to do we just need to find first the uh, level of output are uh, given these optimal levels of labor and capital that means what will be our optimal level of output it is simply q is equal to just plug these values we have 500 uh, l to the power so in place of l we have 250 uh, 250 raised power 1 upon 4 okay into k is k is uh, 100 so 100 into 3 upon 4 so whatever we get the value of q here okay uh, we just need to uh, use the value of q whatever we get here let us say it uh, came out to be uh, let us say it came out to be 20,000 okay so we got q is equal to 20,000 I am just supposing I have not calculated it if you plug this value here you will also get value of l as 250 and k is 100 given w is equal to 10 r is equal to 75 and q is equal to something uh, let us say you got this very thing here i have no calculator here uh, to do this very calculation so you will also get the same results basically the point is uh, to uh, tell you so let me repeat the point that i want to tell you that this is output maximization this is cost minimization okay producer has two two choices okay either to maximize the output with given cost that is the output maximization and from that we got the optimal level level of labor and capital okay also we got the demand functions which the question was demanding uh, uh, demanding here and after that we were told will your answer change if the object to shift us to cost minimization with desired level of output if we want to minimize the cost then 
obviously um, this will change that we will try to minimize the cost subject to the given level of output and after that uh, we got the demand function there is the difference uh, between the demand functions in both the cases uh, in case of output maximization demand was that is a uh, input labor demand was a function of wage rate capital was function of rate of capital uh, rental rate of capital in case of output maximization but in case of cost minimization a uh, labor was function of uh, both w r and um, q and similarly k was also function of uh, Q, W, and R. Oh, this is the difference, but the optimal answer will not change. Okay, so we will get same equilibrium level of employment of factors in each of the case when W is equal to 10 and R is equal to 75. I hope I make myself clear in this video. Um, if you like these videos, please share and subscribe with your economics friends. That is only motivation for me. Okay, it takes time to make these videos. Uh, to first understand the concept and then upload it it takes very much time money and energy okay so uh, i will just request you please share this channel with your friends thank you have a nice day